I'm tuned into that thing of looking, you know, looking for things in people, and I can see things in people's faces, and uh, I can just see so much uh, in Catherine's face. I just, oh, that is just, I could just see it all. You know, so, so what would have happened if you hadn't liked my face? <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done? I think that I would always find a way, but in this circumstance, it was just instant. And do you work from photographs? Yes, photographs, and then and then we'll have sittings with the painting, so um, I'll bring it down here, which would be tricky to get this here, but we'll be able to do it, and, uh, and just have a couple of sittings with the, you know, some sittings with the painting. So I've developed a way of working, which is very much when I'm with someone, I just like to, to mostly talk and just sort of suck up things, and as it were, and then I'll just sort of replay that when I'm back up in the studio. But my portraits are like this, because I want, the, the face and the body language for me is enough, I actually don't really want to know that much about my subject before I before I meet them. I want to I want to get everything um, by intuition and then see how that kind of plays out. There's so much there. There's just a, a universe there, and I can't even contemplate putting anything else in there that that could could tell you know more of a story than what's going on in the subtleties of the body language and and what what I can see in someone's face. I don't even have to think very much. About, I'm still I'm operating on that kind of level of just feeling feeling my way along and, and it's like I can, you know, I feel in, um, in sync with, with um, Catherine and uh, it's just funny how those things happen. Well, it, yeah. I mean, there was, when I saw the various options for artists, it was just instant. Right. But I didn't have to think about yeah. the others, it was just, yours was the style and the approach. It, it wasn't uh, too busy, um, it wasn't trying to be complex, um, but there was a depth there. I was very nervous about what it was going to look like. Yeah. And I was so relieved when you sent through the first, oh, that's, that's right, that's good. We're on the right track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I look, I look at someone's face straight away, or, and then I looked you, I, I, didn't, I didn't, wasn't aware of what you looked like, right. and I just looked you up and then bang, straight away. My approach is really, I mean, at the heart, it's very collaborative. I would never come in and say, this is what you're going to look like. I, part of the process for me, part of the interesting thing for me is what people think they look like too. You're in the artist's hands. You can't be saying how, I mean, I can, I can have a little comment here or there, but no, the, the, the way it works has got to be, you can't be interfering with that. You'd compromise the whole structure and the whole design. Not that you want to think too consciously about that, but there are other really important things um, uh, that you need to be open to and to think about. So there are a lot of universal things that are really important in, in who Catherine is, what she's done, how she's got to where she has, um, the way she has. It's the personal, there's the kind of universal. Yeah. It, it's a multi-dimensional thing that we do when we, when we work on a portrait and um, we just have to be open to those uh, to those things and what that portrait can do in the future, you know, the, what, it's set, what it can say to people. And actually that was Matt's point, that you have to think about something that's going to be enduring and not, mm. not just for the moment or the present. Yeah. And I think that was an important point.